Hey Sharpies, let's add with a line denominator. So today we're going to start with two thirds plus five eighths. Clearly the denominators are not the same. So we must look at their lowest common multiple. The lowest common multiple will allow us to create equivalent fractions. So we may actually have the same whole or denominator. As we're working, we will see that we come up with the denominator of 24. And yes, you can butterfly method all you want, but this is the reason why the butterfly method actually works. So you can set up your equivalent fractions in this format. The most important thing you need to remember is whatever you do to the denominator, you must do to the numerator is what makes them equal. So if we're multiplying eight at the bottom, we must multiply eight at the top. If we're multiplying three at the bottom, we're multiplying three at the top. And so we'll end up with 16 over 24 and 15 over 24. Lastly, we'll take our new fractions and simply add them up like we were trying to do in the beginning. And now that they're part of the same whole, we can do that. Now you will see within this problem, we're gonna have an improper fraction or a fraction that's more than one. And what you can do, you can either just divide it out or you can just pull out however many 24s are there and see what's left over. If you're adding fractions anytime soon, let me know.